Well, hello, Internet. A company called Enkato has released some software, free software, that make my videos a little bit more interactive, and I thought I would explore these tools today live with you. I haven't even played with them all yet. And let's just check out what's going on here, and you guys can give me your opinion on what you think of it. So basically, to install the software, it works inside of YouTube, which is really cool. All you do is go to the Chrome Web Store, and that's at chrome.google.com, Web Store, Category Apps. And then you're going to type in in Kato, like that, and hit Enter. And you're going to see in Kato Education pop up here on your screen, and you're just going to click Add to Chrome and Add Extension, and there you go. It's all set up. You can see over here in Kato Education has been added to Chrome. That's all you got to do, and close that. Now what's really cool is we can go inside of here and we can load, reload what we have right here. This works currently with my Learn to Program series. And if we do so, you're going to see an advertisement pop up. Those are always great. and we love them. And let's just skip past that. And now what you can do is you can click over here where it says Open Topics. And you can see everything that is covered in the video. So that's kind of cool. We can click on all these different parts and you're going to see that it automatically jumps directly to that part of the tutorial, which is really cool. Another thing that's really neat is questions can be embedded directly inside of here. So let's cl click right here. Like let's say we have a question about for loops and you want to check to see if that question's already been asked. So this says, do I need to use I as the variable in the for loop? Okay, this is in beta, so that you know I'm just playing around here. So what makes this really great is normally my comment section looks like this. It just looks like a whole bunch of craziness. And what some people don't know is after a month, pretty much every question that is ever asked, how many questions do I got here? 254. Now I answer every single question that YouTube sends to me, but YouTube doesn't send all of them to me. As you can see right here, there are some questions I haven't answered because YouTube doesn't send them to me. So can't do anything about that. But what's really neat here is, let's say you want to search through every single question that was ever asked, you're going to be able to click here and say something like variable, whoop, type variable correctly, variable, like that. And obviously variable is going to show up right here. And there you go. And another thing you're going to be able to do is come in here and say something like, um, does PyCharm work with Linux? I don't know. And click on Ask. And you're if you're not registered, you're going to have to register on the website. But all they ask for is your name and a user ID, obviously, and a password and an email. So, you know, and it's not a spam site, so don't worry about that. So then what we can do is I can click here and it'll go exactly where I have the question about inside of all this stuff right here. So that's really cool. So I don't know where this is going to go. Problem solution. Okay, we'll just throw it there. And we'll say something like, does PyCharm work with Linux? With Linux. And click Publish. And it's going to go in there, and now you can see that question pops up down here. Does PyCharm work with Linux? And you can click on there, and it's going to show up. And I could come in and give a great response like yes, like that. Click on publish, and then the question is going to be answered. Now, I'm going to be playing around here trying to figure out how to answer these different questions. Like I said, this is beta. I'm playing with this idea. Um, and Kato's playing with this idea. We're trying to figure out how we can give you guys better tools to work with because, I mean, can YouTube do this right here with question and answer system and to be able to search through the comments? Yeah, I think YouTube and Google could probably figure out how to do that. The fact that they haven't done it for a long time, many, many years, almost a decade, tells me that they're never going to. So that's why I really think this is kind of neat and all it is is a Chrome extension away and it's pretty cool and another thing is we want to implement I mean they're not paying me or anything just so you know that and I really have nothing to do with it except they've asked me questions and I've given them my input so that's it and they've a lot of the things that you see here are things that I asked for 
So that's kind of cool, you know. They're not charging me, and I'm not getting paid by them. We're just sort of working together, and it's kind of a neat collaboration that I really, really like because you guys probably know I don't collaborate with anybody. So um, another thing, we don't have quizzes in here right now, but we do have quiz system over in, in Cato. So if we go to the website, Encato.com, and we look for the world's greatest Python tutorial. Oh, look at that. There it is. And we click on that. Um, this Okay, there we are. We got that all working out. And let's just specifically look at this one. This is the tutorial, and hopefully it doesn't start blasting in my ear. Oh, oh it did. Okay, so let's just shut that off. What you're going to see down here now is there's also going to be a quiz section. So we're going to be able, not only are you going to be able to, from the website, jump to all, all the different parts. Ah, sorry about that. Not only are we going to be able to jump to all the different parts here, but we are also going to be able to click on quiz down here. And you can be asked quizzes. So that's kind of neat. And another neat little thing we can do, which of these is valid syntax to define a for loop. And then you go through here and you can just click on any of them. So let's just say, I don't know, let's click on that and click on whatever, whatever, whatever. And then whenever you get it to the end, it's going to tell you what you got right and what you got wrong. So another really cool thing. And, you know, we want your input, both in Cato as well as I want your input in regards to other cool things we could do with this stuff. I just wanted to introduce you to it and because I think, you know, this is maybe a, a really great way that I could dramatically improve my videos at no cost to, you know, anybody. So YouTube isn't doing it. These guys stepped up, and I wanted to point that opportunity out to you guys. So just like always, please leave all of your questions and comments below, both for me as well as in Cato. And otherwise, till next time.